So, what did we get in the mail today? We got Blue Apron! Oh, I, I, I wasn't excited about that. I was excited about this. Oh yeah, you got you got more Nerf guns in. This one's not a Nerf gun, which is kind of disappointing because this one... Okay, so one thing does that to engage. And then it also does this. And then it does this. You're way too happy about that gun. I, it's a fun gun. It's got like the weakest dart ever. Yeah. Yeah, but we also got this. I'm gonna throw out my back picking this thing up. Yeah! We got Blue Apron! Woo! Food. Okay, it says food is better when you start from, from scratch. scratch. Yep. So. Got a knife? Yes, I do. You're gonna stab me, dear lord. I'm scared. You're scared? I'm a scared. You're scared. Okay, close yours. Ooh, well, first, look at this. Okay, so inside it says Building a better food system, one delicious recipe at a time. At Blue Apen, we grow food differently. Our chefs and farmers plan crops together to make farmland healthier and grow ingredients that taste better. Learn how we're building a better food system at blueapron.com slash vision. And then underneath on the actual fold outlet, it says happy, happy cooking. cooking. Okay, now close your eyes. I just want to open this to make sure that, okay, put those there. Move the heavy box off of my lap. Now you can open your eyes. So, you haven't done Blue Apron before. No. I did it, like, almost two years ago. Mm-hmm. So, oh, they actually have a MasterChef thing now. Oh. So, MasterChef recipes are on, um, are in Blue Apron. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, then there's things talking about, ooh, this is actually how to do different, uh, like, burnt type foods. So, like, um, blistered red bell peppers, blistered cherry tomatoes, charred green onions. No green beans. Oh, green beans. Sorry. And then it, uh, talks about how to make blistered red pepper... Romesco. Romesco. See, I don't read too good. I mispronounce things. So these are our three recipes that we get this week. Okay. So we have seared steaks and thyme pan sauce. Mm-hmm. Which looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Then we have miso, miso chicken ramen. Ooh, that looks good too. And then we have sweet and sour pork bowls. Mm-hmm. All of these, all three of these look delicious. Yeah. And one of the things we're not doing with Blue Apron, but we might eventually, because someone might drink alcohol after she's 21. Yes. Because she's still a youngin', is they tell you which wine it is best paired with. But these look delicious. You mm -hmm. ready to see the ingredients for them? Yeah. Let me just open the box. It tells you about, like, the ranching and farming, the ingredients with no GMO. Which I don't mind GMO, because that's how we have corn. Yeah. If there is corn in here, then I know they lied about GMO. And the main thing with Blue Apron is they're trying to give you the instructions of how to cook better food. Yeah. So oh, there's have... the time. They literally give you everything for every recipe. Yeah. So yeah. time and cilantro, cilantro, which sometime soon I'm going to have a little garden in the kitchen for things like that. Yeah. Oh, scallions. Yeah. I'm going to hand things to you when you put them over there. Yellow charm tomatoes. Ooh, look at those. Those are pretty. Yeah. We should be holding things up so people on the camera can see. Mm -hmm. So here's here's the scallions. Ah. Here's the cilantro. And the thyme. 
And then here are Yukon Gold Potatoes. Oh, look at those. Those look yummy. And then here are the sweet peppers. Ooh. Here's a green pepper. Yeah. Here's an eggplant. <laughs> Whoa, the... I've never actually held one in real life. Yeah. These are so light. It's and so they're... light and also slightly, like, squishy. Um, here are green beans. Hold yeah. Up like this. Green we could beans. do charred green beans. Mm -hmm. So remember how I said if I found corn in here, I, w I would call BS on GMO just because corn is te technically a GMO. And it comes in the husk and everything. Yeah, and it even has the fuzz. The silk. Yep. Oh, here is... Oh. Ramen. Tokyo wavy ramen. Look, like, look at that. That is not the typical ramen any of us cook with. Well, no. at least we don't cook with that normally. Japanese rice. Woo! Jasmine rice. It's a long grain one, isn't it? Uh-huh. Okay. And it has, like, jasmine herbs with it. Okay, so let's get through the last of these. This looks like... I'm pretty sure that's a cucumber. A mini cucumber. Which they normally do mini cucumbers when they want you to do pickles. Yeah. Because you can quickly do pickles. Uh-huh. A lime! Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Garlic. An Ooh. actual clove of garlic. That's really cool. Um, I, I like doing the actual cloves of garlic and, like, <laughs> peeling them myself. So, before we get to the good stuff that is underneath this... Okay. This is where the ice is down here, which most of it feels like water now, but it's still yeah. cold. They also send bags with each, like each recipe has a bag. These are the knickknacks. Knickknacks. Do we want to open them and show what's in the knickknack bag? Sure. I'll do the pork bowl. Okay. Careful so we can still read what the sticker said at some point when we need it. Hand them to me. I'll go through. Yeah. Okay. So. So it comes with ginger. This is the ginger, and I'll ha hand them to you, and you put them back in the bags. Okay. And it also comes with all of the nutrition <gasps> facts. They didn't used to do that. Yeah. So it tells like how many calories it has, all that. Ooh. Pure sesame seed oil. And look at the fun little thing it comes in. That's so cool. Sweet white miso paste. So, like, they'll take and do the seasoning together. Like, they'll pack the seasoning together for you so you mm -hmm. don't have to measure out the little things. Yeah. It makes it so the cooking time is a little bit faster, and you don't have to deal with the little tiny things that most people aren't used to at first. Yeah. And they'll also do this. This is soy glaze. Ooh. So. Look at that. That's yeah. so cool. So, like... Even, I think in the recipe, it will tell you how to make the knickknacks when you need them. Yeah. So, here's the knickknacks right here. And it tells you what's in each knickknack. It's just measured out perfectly so you don't have to deal with it. Yeah. And give me a moment. I'm going to label each bag. Well, they still have a label on them, though. Yeah. Yeah. Which one was that for? Pork bowl. Okay. Because yeah. I just opened up this one. So here's the nutritional facts for the chicken ramen. Yeah. Which, when we take and start a book for all of this, we'll also have the nutritional facts with each meal so we know. Mm hmm Because I kind of want to eat healthy. Yeah. So here's the fun bottles of stuff. I love the bottles. Like the yeah. tiny little bottles. Mm -hmm. Here's Mirin. Mm -hmm. And here is soy sauce, straight up soy sauce that time. Mm -hmm. Here is pure sesame oil, seed oil again. And the fun little blue packaging. And then another thing of sweet white miso paste. Mm -hmm. 
another thing of ginger, and then seaweed. Nori. Well, no, it's not nori. Look at that. Oh. It's ground up seaweed to put into the ramen. And then here's the one I'm thinking we might start with today. Okay. This is the uh, steak and pan sauce. So in here, let me dump it all out so I can hand you this. Okay. So, oh. Butter. It literally has a tiny thing of butter. One ounce of butter. And one of my friends is messaging me. Um, here are the nutritional facts, as always. Yep. Sherry vinegar. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's cultured cream, but it's French style. Cream froche? Cream froche. Then we have a red onion, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah. It's an odd shape for a red onion. <laughs> Which, honestly, vegetable shapes don't matter. Like, if you go to a store and you see a vegetable that is a different shape than what you're used to... It's still the same thing. It's still perfectly fine. As yeah. long as it still feels fresh and everything like that, like you're used to. Then we have rice flour. Woo! Oh, that feels cool. Because oh. it's more starchy. Yeah! Oh! They should make stress balls out of this. And now, you'll recognize something from my freezer. Is it the Nordic ice pack? So each one of them usually comes with two of these Nordic ice packs. I keep them in the freezer. Like, I'll usually have like two in the freezer just because, for one, it's nice to have ice packs. Like, especially flat ones, mm -hmm. so you can pack a cooler. Two, if the freezer ever, like, stops working for a time, it's still going to be cold. Yep, and then three, like, last week I had a headache, and it was one where I needed an ice pack, and so I took one of the Nordic ice packs that we have in our freezer, and I sat there with it on my head, and it helped a lot with my headache. Yeah, I love them. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. So here, and they even have them in, like, sealed bags, too, apart from the normal sealed bag. Which yeah. I like. I normally keep my meat in, like, the grocery bag that it comes in, just so it's still a little bit more separate. But there's the chicken for our chicken miso ramen. Yep. Let's see. This one is the, the pork. pork for our pork bowls. And it's ground pork. Ooh. And then here are two chuck steaks. Oh, for tonight. Yep. And so the whole thing, like, here, let me pull out the other Nordic ice pack. Oh, it's a jelly. Like, feel that. Oh. You can feel the jelliness. <laughs> um, and it all comes in a bag like this. Yeah. A temperature bag. So, like, some people are just like, it just ships to my house. How is it all going to stay fresh if I don't get home in time to get it the moment it gets there? For one thing, it's shipped through FedEx, usually. <laughs> so, yeah. it lasts that long. It should be able to last until you get home. Mm -hmm. And then it and has... And, like, these are still cold and haven't, like, thawed at Oh, all. yeah. Like, it's taken a few days for this to ship here. And these are... These still feel almost frozen. The ice packs are still half frozen. And all of the rest of the stuff still feels cold enough that it's not worrying me at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped the board. So that's the unpacking, and we'll be back with the actual cooking sequence. Yep. <laughs> 